been here now for uh, 11 days. Um, my, my, my improvements have been absolutely phenomenal. So on day one, uh, my, my cognitive behavior was just like every MS warrior, um, all over the place. I, I, I struggled um, with the simplest tasks. I had lots of pain. Um, I was dealing with headaches. I was dealing with tingles in my legs and feet. I was dealing with numbness of my arm, as well as obviously not being able to think properly and crying um, over the smaller things. 11 days on, this is how quick it is. I, I really I cannot believe it. 11 days on, I'm here talking to you now. Um, I haven't forgotten a word I've said, whereas before I would forget my sentence. Um, I've not experienced a headache when talking, which again, I used to um, be thinking of what I'd be saying next, which would cause me a headache, which would then cause me to forget what I've just said. So I've got none of that going on. Um, 11 days and the progress has been absolutely phenomenal. I've got no numbness down my arms. My legs are still a little bit, well, my legs are okay. My feet, which were on a pain level, I'll say over 10, and now at a pain level of maybe two or three. So they've gone, gone really down. Um, the stem cell procedure itself, um, as you can see, all they do is a few uh, cannulas go, go in. They take your blood, um, they give you some liposuction and, and take your, your stem cells from your, your fats in your belly. But again, I was expecting a big thing when they give you liposuction. It is, you can't even see it on that side. Where is it there? It's only a tiny little wound. Does it hurt? Not, not really. Um, sorry. Uh, it, the only thing that really hurts is the injection. But like all injections hurt, um, it's no different from, from any other ones. The same with the uh, bone marrow. I don't know if I've still got a mark, but they, they take it from the back. Again, it's just a, a pressure injection. It doesn't, well, I can't say it doesn't hurt because all injections hurt. I hate needles, so I think everything hurts. But um, <clears throat> on, a pain, on a pain scale, it's, it's nothing really. So they get take, take those fat, um, fats and bone marrow stem cells, they harvest them, and they give them back to you within the same day, which I couldn't believe because I thought it would take a while to get the centrifuge to split them up and things, but all in the same day. And then they give you a drip and it goes in. Now, while, while they're doing this, um, <clears throat> that all goes in, that's swimmingly. Every day though, you have a daily infusion where they give you three bottles of, um, of, of drugs, uh, mostly uh, vitamins and uh, vitamins and minerals to detox your body and help the stem cells grow. Um, so that happens every day. And they also give you what I think is really cool, a laser injection. So they inject you with your cannula. This this bit of um, this needle goes in with a bit of string attached to a machine. They turn the machine on, and then this laser goes in. Um, you're not allowed to look at it, so I I, I did, but um, you're not supposed to look at it. Um, so that that I think is fascinating. Um, and then the the last thing is the pain management. Now, they, they tackle this two ways with me. Um, the first method is they put, put you into a deep sleep using, again, 
um, just some sort of uh, injection. Now that does hurt a little bit as, as it's going in, but they rub your vein and then within five seconds you close your eyes and two hours have gone past and they're walking you back into your room. Uh, what I can say about it is you feel a little bit ropey afterwards, uh, but within an hour you're back to yourself and I think that has really improved my pain, uh, the pain that I've had. Um, the other way is a gas mask that they put around you. It, you feel like um, you're in Top Gun, like a pilot. Um, they pull that around and then you, you, you're breathing in and out, in and out. And it's very relaxing. You don't go to sleep, but you're just there relaxing, taking it all in. Unfortunately, because the mask was really tight, it gave me a headache, um, which lasted a day. So that, that was the reason why I don't think I had it again. Um, so that's the, the pain management theory. If I can now tell you about the actual clinic itself, the clinic, um, well, first of all, the, the rooms are fantastic. Um, I've been given two rooms, lucky, luckily enough. Um, my first room was across the hall and it was a lovely room, ensuite bathroom, a TV, big TV, um, everything that you wanted. However, due to my feet being crap, they, they, they get really hot at night. And uh, I explained to the doctor that, you know, it felt like my feet were in an oven um, and I couldn't sleep because, well, I woke up at night because of it. So within 15 minutes, he went, it went away and came back and offered me this big room, which is a two person room. It's got a fridge freezer, it's got a table, it's got en suite, it's got a near enough a double bed. Um, and it, it's fantastic. So the facilities are absolutely brilliant. I've not experienced anything like this uh, in my lifetime and I've been to many hospitals in many different countries because um, I have a bit of that still proof. Um, the last thing I'd like to say is the staff. Now I've never ever felt like I do about the staff here. They are just absolutely fantastic. You'll probably hear this on every video but that's because it's true. They're there to help you. It's not like where, where I come from in England, we have the NHS, where if you see a doctor in a week, you're lucky. I mean, you, you'll see doctors every day, constantly. You've got this little buzzer here that if we press it, uh, I bet a nurse will come in within, within minutes. Um, and all the nurses are absolutely fantastic. Um, not only are they fantastic, uh, they, they speak English, they speak, speak of the devil, and the nurse is here now. So, <coughs> as I say, that, that, that was about 10 seconds. Now, if, I've never seen that sort of care in the UK. Um, the nurses are get in the UK are good, but the nurses here are brilliant. Um, they're, they're here to help constantly. They they joke and laugh and smile and um, and are just friendly in general. So um, that's the nurses. And as for the doctors and the professors, they explain everything to you clearly. If you've got a, a um, problem understanding, like. I did have in the first few days um, before my stem cells kicked in and I could speak like I am doing now. They're quite willing to sit down and wait and listen to you. Um, there's translators here that again um, will help you translate and, and get your point across. Um, 
think that's all I've really got to say. Uh, I'm just absolutely ecstatic I came here. Uh, I had to self-fund to, to, to get here, but that's not important. What's important is that I'm here, I've had the treatment, and I am 110% better, I'd say. Not just 80, not 70, 110. Um, the fact that I, I can go through a whole day without having to fall asleep. I'm not tired, I'm not in pain. Um, so I would recommend this to everyone. You don't need chemo to cure MS.